All right, today we have a new battery and charger from Lee Time. Let's open it up. We have our manual and product information packet right here. We have our M8 terminal bolts. All right, and there's the battery. So this is a 51.2 volt, 30 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This is labeled as their golf cart and more electric cart battery. It shows a low speed vehicle, a golf cart, all terrain vehicle, and an e-trike. All right, and according to the manual, it has a rated capacity of 30 amp hours. It has a 60 amp BMS. Uh, recommended charge voltage is 57.6 plus or minus 0.8 volt. The recommended charge current is 6 amps. The max continuous charge current is 30 amps. The max continuous discharge current is 60 amps. And it can discharge 300 amps for one second. It is IP65 rated. It says you can parallel up to four of these batteries, but do not series connect them. These are already 48 volt batteries. You can't series connect them. That would be too high of a voltage. All right, so let's use the, the battery charger they sent us to charge this guy up. All right, so I've got the charger wired into the battery here. I think all we need to do here now is flip the power switch on. There we go. And it started to charge. We got two red lights. That means the power's on and it is charging. All right, so we'll just let that thing charge up and I'll be back. All right, so the battery is fully charged now. I've got it hooked up to this shunt in inverter so we can do a capacity test. I've got the shunt set up at 30 amp hours. It's sitting at 100% right now. So let's go ahead and turn on our breaker. Let's turn on our inverter. There we go. I'm gonna run the AC as the load. Turn that guy on. And we are pulling about, f f well, 600 watts right now. That's actually going to settle down. Okay, there we go. We're doing about 415 watts. All right, so I'll just let that continue to run, and I'll be back. All right, guys. So we have 2% left to go, which is uh, less than 1 amp hour. So we'll just let it keep on. Okay, so it says we're at 0% now. Uh, we still do have 0.27 amp hours left, technically, so let's let that keep going. Okay, here we go. We're just 0.010 amp hours away. Here we go. There it is. We've fully drained 30 amp hours out of this lead time. 48 volt 30 amp hour battery excellent this will probably go a little bit longer but if you see the voltage here we're at 45.7 it uh it's real close to the threshold where this inverter is going to cut off but we made it so that's great all right so now i want to open this up and take a look on the inside but before we do that let's get a weight first and we have 27.8 pounds all right so I got the lid pretty much released all we gotta do is just pull it up there we go so we have a Lee Time branded BMS 
we have our silicone jacketed wire. Looks to be a double eight. Is that what it is? I think so. And then we've got another jacket that covers both of them. And on the positive side, I think it's a single six, I believe, with that same kind of jacket on it. So I wonder if I can get these out. Let me see. Oh, man. Mm. They feel like cylindrical cells. Yeah, they are. I can feel them on the side here. I don't know if we can get the camera in there. Can you see? One, two, three, four. There's like four cylindrical cells on this side. They feel pretty large. But I think it's really in there, guys. Ah. There's definitely, I think, like a double sided kind of sticky pad down there. I've seen them before and they're super hard to get the cells up from that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. Yeah, that, it's not budging at all. I'd had to just completely destroy this thing. But for as far as I can tell, there's one, two, three, four, rather large cylindrical cells. And then I think there's eight this way. So my guess is, I guess they're 15 amp hours each. And so there's two in parallel, right? That works out, right? So one, two, so that would be 16, 32. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So they'd be 15 amp hours each. I would believe two in parallel would give you the 30 amp hours and then the 16S is what I'm thinking without being able to get completely down in there and see. That's what it seems like. All right, so I think I'm defeated on this one. So I think that's gonna be the end of the video. I'll leave links in the description. Let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you on the next one.